So the question for today is where the helium actually comes from. And here we have a bag of rock containing the mineral monazite, which can have thorium and uranium in it, and a Geiger counter. Now, Geiger counters count uh, gamma radiation. So I'll turn it on to and you can hear it beeping. Now as I bring it closer to the sample, you can hear the number of counts increase. Come over here. It's gonna get about a thousand counts per minute. More if I get a little closer. So the helium in the air actually comes from the Earth's crust. It comes from minerals uh, that contain radioactive elements such as thorium and uranium. And as those elements decay, they throw off alpha particles, which are basically the nuclei of helium atoms. And because helium is a very light gas, it can actually get lost out into space. So in order to keep helium in the atmosphere, there has to be constant production of helium. A lot of the helium that we buy actually comes from natural gas. It gets trapped underground with the natural gas. So this much uranium would produce about 400 gallons of helium gas. You may wonder why I'm not worried about having my hand next to a bag of radioactive material. It's not very radioactive, certainly not enough to do me any damage. To hear me inhale some helium and explain the science of how it affects your voice and sing while inhaling helium, uh, click here. You should also click here, here, and over there.